Email marketing is an important tool for race directors because it allows them to inform potential registrants of their events, as well as keep participants up to date on packet pickup procedures, race day rules and regulations, and post-race results postings and pictures. This tutorial will walk you through the process of setting up your SendGrid account, managing your email settings, sending emails, managing emails, and managing email list. If at any point during this video you would like to jump ahead to an upcoming section, or go back to a previous section, then simply click on the corresponding bookmark. Setting up your account. To begin sending emails to your race participants, you will first need to set up your account. To do this, make your way to the email marketing tab of the dashboard, and click on Manage Email Settings. Run Signup uses SendGrid to allow you to send emails to race participants, so you will first need to review the following information. Your first name, your last name, email address and phone number, your address including city, country, state, and zip code, your company name, and website. These fields can be edited from their pre-filled values, and keep in mind that this information is just for your account on SendGrid. You will still be able to customize the way that the email sender and reply to addresses are seen when sending an email. This will be explained in the upcoming section, Managing Your Email Settings. Once you have your information reviewed, and have made corrections if necessary, click on Submit, and you will receive confirmation that your SendGrid account has been successfully set up. Managing Your Email Settings After your account is set up, you can go to the Email Marketing tab of the dashboard, and then Manage Email Settings. Here you can set the from name, which is the name that recipients of your email will see as the sender, and then you can set the reply to email address, which is the address that all replies to your email will be sent back to. If you have already set a race logo for your page, then you can choose to include your race logo in the top right corner of your email by checking off the box provided. If you do not yet have a race logo set up for your page, then you can click on Add a Logo, and you will be brought to the Your Page tab of the Race Wizard. Here you can add a logo, as is explained in how to set up your race page. If you have sponsors set up, then you can mark off the field for Include Sponsor Logos, and this will have your sponsor logos included at the bottom of your email. If you do not yet have sponsors set up for your race, then you can click on Add Sponsors, and you will be brought to the Race Sponsors page. Here you can add race sponsors, as is explained in how to add sponsors. Once you are finished managing your email settings, click on Save Email Settings, and you will receive confirmation that the email settings have been updated. Sending Electronic Mail, also known as email. After your account is set up, and you have managed your email settings, you can then move along to sending emails. To begin sending emails, go to the Email Marketing tab of the dashboard, and then click on Send Emails. The first section of the Send Emails page allows you to select Recipient List. This is where you can decide which list or list of recipients you would like to send this email to. You can choose from either Common Recipient Lists or Custom Lists. Common Recipient Lists are created based on event registrants and you can select specific event participants to send your email to, or you can email all participants. Custom lists can also be selected as email recipients, and you can create custom lists as will be explained in the upcoming section for Managing Email Lists. After you are finished with the settings in this section, you can click on Hide, which will allow you to collapse it down, and you can always click on Show if you need to go back in and view or edit your selections. Next, you can customize this email settings. First, enter in an email name, which is the name that this email will be listed as in your dashboard and is unseen by the recipient. Then, enter in your email subject, which will be used as a subject line for your email when it shows up in your recipient's inbox. You can add additional recipients to this email if necessary, and these should each be separated by a comma. Keep in mind that the additional recipients entered here will not be able to see any replacement tag information, which will be explained in a moment. Also in the Email Settings section, you can upload an email attachment by clicking on Browse, 
and selecting any of the allowed file types that do not exceed the maximum file size. This section can also be hidden or shown at any time. Next up is the Write Your Email section. Here you will be able to use the various features provided in the text box to create and format your custom email. If you go to the Replacement Tag section, then you will find several tags that you can cut and paste into your email. These tags, when viewed properly, will then be replaced by the corresponding information for each recipient. Please note that for any custom list recipients that were created without the appropriate tag information, and for the additional recipients that were entered on this page, these tags will not be able to input any information and will be omitted from the message. You have the ability to save your message as a draft, in which case you will receive confirmation that your draft email was successfully saved, and you can access that email later, as will be explained in the upcoming section for Managing Emails. You can click on Send Test Email to send yourself a copy of what the email will look like, and when you are ready to send out your email, you can click on Send Email. Managing Emails Once you have draft emails saved and or sent emails, then you will be able to go to the Email Marketing tab of the Race Dashboard, open up Manage Emails, and view either draft emails or sent emails. Under Draft Emails, you can view all of your draft emails by name, you can see the date on which each was last modified, and you can edit the email by clicking on Edit slash Send Email. This will bring you back to the email creation step, which was explained previously in the Sending Email section. If you return to the Email Marketing tab, click on Manage Emails, and go to Sent Emails, then you can review your history of sent emails. For each of the sent emails, you will be able to view the date and time when the email was originally sent, the email name, and the subject line of the email. The recipients column of the table will allow you to view the recipients that were sent that particular email. You can view the message, as well as other details pertaining to that message, and you can send this email again, or an email similar to this one, by clicking on Send One Like This. This will bring you back to the email creation step, which was explained previously in the Sending Email section. Managing Email List In addition to the common recipient list, as was mentioned in the Sending Email section, custom email lists can also be created and edited for your race. To begin creating a custom list, go to the Email Marketing tab of the dashboard, open up the section for Manage List, and click on New List. Begin by entering in a list name for your custom list. Next, you can select registrants to add to this list by event, or simply select All Events to include all participants. You can also upload a custom list of recipients. Recipients can be added manually by entering in their email address, first name, and last name, and for each of these manually entered recipients, you can enter in their tag information, which will be useful if you set up replacement tags, as was explained previously in the Sending Email section. Once you have all of your recipient information entered in, click on Add Recipient, and you will see them listed in the Added Recipient section. Please note that you will need to click on Save List in order for these recipients to be added to the custom list. Another option for uploading a custom list of recipients is uploading a CSV of your contacts. You can download a custom CSV of participants, as is explained in How to View Participant Reports, and the custom CSV downloaded by following the instructions in that video will be useful for creating a list of past race participants to upload, or to simply have a sample file set up for uploading custom recipients. To upload a CSV, click on Choose File, and once you select your CSV, you will be able to map your import fields. Make sure that all of the fields in your CSV match up correctly with our fields and tags, and when all of your fields are mapped, click on Add Contacts, and you will see the new contacts listed under the Added Recipients list. When you are finished, be sure to click on Save List, 
and you will receive confirmation that your email list was updated. To edit an existing list, return to the Email Marketing tab of the dashboard, open up the section for Manage List, and click on Existing List. Find the list name that you would like to edit, and then click Edit List. From here, you can edit the list in the same manner as creating the list, which was explained at the beginning of this section for managing email lists. A written instruction manual is also available for this topic, and can be viewed and or downloaded in the How-To section of Run Sign Up. Other resources on this topic include Participant Management Pre-Race Communication and Participant Management Post-Race Communication. These videos will give examples of how email marketing is being used by races to help race day run smoothly and to encourage registration.